Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about gambling. We cannot deny the fact that most of our youth are now gamblers. Kenya has the highest number of youths that are gamblers and I think it's 76% then Uganda is the second but the rate at which Kenyans are gambling is alarming and I think it's an issue that's, that's supposed to be addressed because it is yani it's going to affect us it is going to affect all of us and i know it has started affecting each and every one of us and mm, i think the reason that most of the youth are gambling is because they have this syndrome this get rich quickly syndrome i think it's the one that that is making people gamble they want quick money they don't want to build wealth uh, over a long period of time they want quick riches they want to get rich quickly yani so i think today i'll share a few tips on how to stop gambling because there are people who are addicted to gambling i'll share a few tips on how to stop so number one you start by admitting or recognizing that you have a gambling problem talking to yourself and telling yourself that gambling or betting is a big lie number two you try not to think about it you know, you try and distract your brain from thinking about it and then you can the next thing you do you open up to somebody and tell them that you have a gambling problem you can talk to a friend or your parents or somebody you trust tell them you have you have a gambling problem so that they can be a good support system maybe they can try and distract you each time you want to go to bed or gamble they will distract you uh, you can you can also manage your triggers you if it's money that maybe you you first you first realize what makes you bet if it's money you can give somebody temporarily your finances to i know it's a bit hard but if you if where there is a will there is always a way you can give somebody your finances temporarily to manage for you you also if it's your phone you keep it away or you use mulika mwizi maybe if it's a smartphone that makes you bet you can use mulika mwizi you 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 if it's data maybe data internet data you can stop buying you can yani udajikata kabisa kwa internet kan ni simu unanunua tu mulika mwizi if it's your friends don't put yourself in a position to bet or to gamble if it's friends that make you gamble try avoiding them or maybe when they suggest you gamble or you bet you just tell them to yani you tell them to do a different activity if it's hard for them then you just walk away because you cannot be putting a, you try when you're trying to stop something you're not supposed to go to any if you if it's those friends you can start by avoiding them but they could bet na kuanga hard sana because unaona anga tu nikiekelea hii maybe nitakula the next game unajipata umeekelea umeekelea but trust me it is never healthy i used to bet by the some time back and but i stopped and i realized that one day i went to m ledger those for those people who use safari kwa i downloaded m ledger and checked the statement nikona ile do nime withdraw ni kidogo kushinda ile nimetuma kwa hizo kampuni so trust me it is never it is never easy to stop but once your mind is at it you can stop because where there is a will there is always a way also understand the risk of gambling cuz gambling comes around with many risks at times you get depressed it it can lead to depression anxiety kwanza sasa yenye umeekelea pesa yote then you are there waiting game itaendaje itaendaje and then you yani hiyo period inakwanga the worst cuz maybe umeekelea ka salary yote ama maybe ilikuwa do ya sapo or something and then umeekelea yote ndio hiyo imeenda so kabla hata iende uko tu hapo uko anxious unangojea tu how will this game end how will this yani it is inakwanga tu hard life yani yani mtu amejichagulia hard life and naona tu betting imekuwa ni kama lifestyle squeeze ati unapata mtu anaamka hayuko kazi anaamka asubuhi ameenda ameenda inaitwaje cyber kuangalia games zenyewe zinacheza a bet yani mtu ni kama ameemployiwa na betting it is not a good thing by the way so you can even you increase you are even increasing your what is it called you are increasing your yani your it it causes in increased suicidal risk 
so you unaweza unaweza pata mtu mwingine ame lose the mob mpaka haizi handle ameona tu the only thing i don't kill myself maybe he had borrowed some more money and then ameenda ame ame lose sote i have somebody i know but i can't give their story because i don't know if they are ready to stop or they are not but but i as me says it ajajina yake but that guy he had borrowed money ya kubet and then he lost all of it the next thing alikuwa police cell simply because alikuwa anataka easy money but i think it is easier to stop than kuendelea so if you feel like you have a betting problem please stop as early as now cuz your key to buy it's not healthy i had discussion ya maina kageni last week sometime last week or last yeah and guys were calling in saying at oh nimenunua gari na mani pesa ya kubet but i would never encourage anyone to bet i would never cuz watu wanatoka shule tu hivi umeanza kubet it is never healthy so if you want to bet please try those tips i'll keep on sharing more tips as we go along the way and for feedback you can comment down below or inbox me i'll leave my my instagram and facebook down there and remember to share and subscribe